by other streaming services and social media platforms in the past. And we promise we have a very sincere apology ready for when we inevitably betray your trust in the future. That's the Binge Pipe Guarantee. Binge Pipe provides the quality content my friends and family needs for entertainment. But what about my physical nourishment? Sounds like you need to try Binge Pipe Carrots. Come again? Binge Pipe Farms create human consumables using the latest data technology. Instead of water and sunlight, the crops are fed your personal information to create produce that's produced specifically for their target audience. Wow, it tastes like nostalgia and self-importance. That's the personalized touch and the glyphosate. I don't know what could be better than these binge pipe vegetables. They also make cake. <laughs> oh, let's eat that instead. Binge Pipe not only streams the highest quality programming other services passed on, but we also create original content based around our users' most frequent search terms. Please enjoy the following. Hi, I'm Mike Builder, CEO of Jackbox Games. <laughs> Sorry, I mean VP of Binge Pipe Gaming. Everyone at what used to be Jackbox is thrilled to bring You Don't Know Jack to Binge Pipe. We've been working hard to make the best game possible, sometimes going weeks without sleep. And if the praise I've been getting from the invisible elves who live in my teeth is any indication, we've been very successful. But why stop there? Each time I take a sip of dark purple water from the Binge Pipe water cooler, I get a new million dollar game idea. Like Day Drinker, Pickle Police, Cyst Blaster 64, Toilet Race, Too Many Wedding Guests, Space Deniers, Dank Meme Summer Camp, Guess My Stepdad, Everybody Help Grandma, Gamblity Blamblity Duplity Dee Doo, and Wordspud 3. So if you love consumerism, keep your binge pipe subscription up to date and who knows what you'll see next. I'm Mike Builder, and I'm saying this of Mike Builder's own free will. I'm Blake. And I'm Chad. And we're the Internet Brothers. Binge Pipe is ignoring our lawyers and presenting You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe. Gulp. Hello, I'm Cookie Masterson, and just like this game, I've been aged to perfection. A little one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, it reminds me of my streetball days. Let's forge ahead. Question one. Kicking things off, the five stages of reef. You know what they say? The Nile ain't just a river in Egypt. <laughs> so true. It's also a river in Libya, Sudan, Algeria, or Niger. So who got it? <laughs> the Nile River passes through 11 countries, including Sudan. So it definitely ain't just a river in Egypt. Another thing I always say, the Elephant Butte ain't just a river in New Mexico. Yeah, it's a, it's a lake actually. Look it up. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's time for... Is that a gyroid in your pocket? Which Animal Crossing character would not be able to store the mobile game Animal Crossing Pocket Camp in its own pocket? Alice the Koala, Leaf the Sloth, Marcy the Kangaroo, or Pascal the Otter? Okay, let's take a look. This is interesting. Marcy the kangaroo is a kangaroo. You know, the animal that most famously has a pocket on its body. Come on. Sloths don't have pockets or pouches. They're also really slow to return your friend request. Why don't we do it with three? Next up. Draft Seasons. And don't reach across the table because it's a dis or dat. 
I'm going to read off seven real and fictional people, and for each one, you tell me if their name is Salt or their name is Pepper. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between Salt or Pepper. And you're both doing this together, so look alive. Ready? Let's go. With a Paltrow and Iron Man. Jolie's secret agent. YouTube star on Big Brother UK. One of the children on the Willy Wonka tour. Rapper Cheryl James. and Project Runway contestant. Sammy Davis Jr. and Salt and Pepper. You really excel in the middle lane, but player two, you just plain sucked at that dis or dat. Binge Pipe has detected a suboptimal player experience. Looks like it's screw time. That is the truth, Cookie. Screwing during a question makes life a little tougher for your opponent in a variety of enjoyable ways. And you'll receive a bonus if they choose incorrectly. Mm-hmm. I couldn't have said it better myself. Apparently. Aha! Happy to engage with you. I don't need you anymore. Coming up next, my car runs on dead dinosaurs. I just got a Jurassic parking fee that's the same as the length of the Jurassic era. How much do I have to pay? Eight million dollars, fifty-four million dollars, four hundred thirty million dollars, or one billion dollars? Let's see how that shook out. Uh, no. The Jurassic period lasted about 54 million years. It may seem like a lot to pay for parking, but it's still cheaper than taking a rideshare during peak hours. And how'd our lovely audience do? So, not the smartest group then. That means that right answer is worth even more. You can thank me later. How about this one? Not what I superintended. Which description of a super TV program demonstrates the quantum superposition principle? Supergirl increases in strength but not size. Super Bowl teams never physically interact. Supernatural isn't as good as it will be. Or superior donuts are every flavor until I see them. Okay, who chose what? Apparently, quantum theory is your kryptonite. <laughs> well, it's come to this. The superlative position is the theory a system exists in all states before it is measured. <laughs> Round one is officially behind us. This leaderboard is brought to you by Binge Pipe. Currently, player two is in the lead. Player one, on the other hand, there's a soft spot on every apple. It's you. We have another screw to help our targeted numbers. And remember, round two screws are more powerful, and they'll net you more cash for each player that gets the question wrong. So do not be afraid to use that thing. Player two, your only hope is to answer quick before player one has time to screw. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled, in case you care about things like that. You're doing so well, Cookie. <laughs> Six trombones is not a parade! Behold! Go Big Sean or Go Home Sean! 
Which of the following Big Sean lyrics demonstrates the rhetorical device epizuxis? Okay, drop it to the floor, make that ass shake, shake, shake. Built a house up on that ass, that's an ass state. Whoa, make that group move, that's an ass quake. Or, oh, watch out. You got the pointy end of the screw player, too. How's your hand-eye coordination? Well, we'll see. Hope you like what you picked. Epizuxis is the immediate repetition of a word for emphasis. Or in this case, emphasis. Nice screw job, player one. Have some cash. Hey, question. Binge Pipe now offers content surveys. Would you like a question about mom or a question about dad? Vote on your devices now. Your choices cancel each other out. We'll pick one ourselves and ignore this chilling failure of the democratic process. Las pears should mocha de moi. Set. Next, a question about mom. Whose theme song describes them as a bad mother? Murphy Brown, Allie McBeal, Roseanne, or Shaft? So what'd you pick? Wait, I thought we were gonna cut Roseanne out of this question. A lyric in the theme to this film describes this cat Shaft as a bad mother. If you found this question misleading, I'm sorry, I was just talking about Shaft. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. This one's known as Please Clap. You know those tweets where someone is calling something out and every other word is a clapping emoji? Well, if you can't tell me how many times I've clapped during this question, you don't deserve any cash. Oh, it's like a Chris Walken impersonation. Well, 18 times, 22 times, 27 times, or 30 times. Okay, what'd you pick? Ah, it looks like you fell for my clap trap. <laughs> I clapped 18 times. And now I will take my angry clap gloves off and put on my applause gloves. To acknowledge what a great question that was. Na, 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 na. Introducing our digital friendship. Uh, maybe I'll take a quick bathroom break. Binge Pipe recommends. Because you're a total horse person who hates horse movies where the main horse dies, we think you'll love War Horse, Lean on Pete, Black Beauty, or Far Lap. picked what? <coughs> no, no, I'll get it. Spoiler alert! Albert and Joey ride off into the sunset at the end of this movie. A total horse person. That's a centaur, right? Let's try Beethoven. You up? Which of these emoticons most resembles the repeat sign in sheet music? Colon, greater than symbol, vertical bar, colon, close parenthesis, colon, lowercase o, vertical bar, or colon, vertical bar? And how'd we do? I wouldn't look so happy. 
Yep, that's what a repeat sign looks like. Although if you see this emoticon when chatting up someone, it usually means stop. You made it to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. We may miss It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Alliterative answers. You know what alliteration is, right? Good luck. Player One takes it! Nice work, Player One. From this day henceforth, you shall be known as that person who won that game that one time. It's mostly an honorary title because... You don't know Jack! If you don't love me, I'm going to war. Okay, see you when you get back. Bye. Mmm, I love the relish that is coming through in this buttercream frosting. But I'm not tasting enough hot dog in the cupcake itself. Everybody down! Get down on the floor now! This is my first time teaching a yoga class! I said get down!